Hi, welcome to the Digital Yacht How To video series. Um, today's video we're going to focus on the new wireless to NMEA server which is our WLN 10. And this uh, unit comes in two variants. We have the normal version which uh, works at the 4800 board rate, the normal NMEA 0183 board rate, and we have the high speed version or the WLN 10 HS which works at the 38400 board rate. Now Sometimes, um, if you've only got one unit in stock and a customer asks for the unit with the other board rate, it's quite useful to be able to reconfigure this. Or if you're an end user and you've bought the unit to work initially with your uh, GPS or instruments and then you want to add AIS, it's useful to be able to configure from say 4800 to 38400. So today I'm going to show you how to do this very easily with a free program called TerraTerm which we include on our product CDs. Um, and I'm going to take you through the whole stage of, of doing all the steps of doing that. So let's uh, start by installing TerraTerm. If we go to uh, my computer and make sure that you've got your uh, digital yacht CD-ROM installed or, or fitted in the uh, in the CD-ROM drive. Okay, I'm going to go to the TerraTerm utility folder and then I'm going to run TerraTerm setup. So click next. I'm just going to quickly run through this. I accept next. Uh, oh, that's because I've already had it installed on here and uninstalled it, so I'm going to install it again. Um, now the only things I don't install are the log me in the SIG term plus and the TTL edit. Um, and in fact, we don't even need the TT proxy either. Um, let's just install the um, TTSSH and that should be fine. So we go next. Uh, English is the language we want and uh, next. Now I'm only going to create a desktop icon so I'm going to run through that. Okay, so that should all be uh, installed doesn't take too long. Um, I'm not going to launch it just yet so I'm going to close that because the first thing we need to do is set up a wireless link between our PC and the WLN10. So to do that, uh, I mean this is Windows XP but uh, the approach is exactly the same with Vista or 7, it's just the actual uh, Windows might look a little bit different. So I've clicked on uh, the wireless icon to bring up the list of wireless uh, access points that it can detect and there's our digital yacht WLN10 and that's the serial number 1234 of my unit. So I click on that and I hit connect. Now what the PC is doing now is it's setting up an ad hoc network, what's called an ad hoc network. Now that's there's two types of networks, there's infrastructure which is the sort of uh, more formal uh, connection that you have between a PC and for instance say like a wireless router or there's this ad hoc mode which is fairly unusual but it's used quite a lot when you want to transmit data between two devices you don't want to go to all the trouble of setting up a, a full network. So it's just it takes a little bit longer to, to connect through an ad hoc network than it does through an infrastructure one so we'll just let that do its thing. Uh, in the meantime I'm going to show you a little bit about TerraTerm. So when you run TerraTerm it asks you what type of connection you want to create. Now if this PC had a serial port on it or a USB to serial port adapter it would give you the option of doing a, a serial port connection so it's quite useful for NMEA 0183 um, viewing that data. Um, but what we're interested in is a TCP IP connection which will connect between the um, the PC and the WLN10. Now to do that we need to know the WLN10 IP address which we need to put that in. Now that is included in the instruction manual of the uh, WLN10 but I'll just put that in now. It's 169.254.1.1 and we want to use Townet as the service that we're going to use and the port that we want is 2000. So those are the three things you put. 169.254.1.1, Telnet and 2000 is the port. And then hopefully now it says it's connected so we should be able to go OK. And sure enough we've got a, a reply from the WLN10. It just says hello when the connection's made. So now we're connected to the WLN10. What we need to do next, I'm just going to close that wireless window. Uh, what we're going to do next is we need to, uh, the only thing, change we need to make to the TerraTerm uh, menu is if we go Terminal and just click Local Echo to On, what that does is it, as I type, it actually puts what you type up on the screen so you, you're not left wondering whether it's uh, typed correctly or not. And what we want to do now 
is um, put the uh, WLN10 into into its configuration mode and to do that we're going to send it three dollar signs so I've just typed three dollar signs and I hit return and you'll notice here where it had originally said hello it's now put CMD it's in command mode and just to prove that we can go uh, I'm going to do a command that's get UART now that will basically return the board rate that this is set to um, so the board rate of this particular unit is a 4800 so it's a it's a normal WLN10 and if I wanted to now uh, configure this to be a uh, WLN10HS at 38400 I just do set UART to uh, board rate 38400 and that's set it the fact that it's come back and said a okay um, is the, its way of acknowledging that the uh, command has been successfully uh, set just to be 100% sure we can go get UART again and sure enough it, the board rate is now set to 38400 so what we want to do now is save that setting so type save and it's storing the config and uh, now the best thing to do is to exit that mode and that exits and then if we were to uh, reset the press the reset button on the WLN 10 it will now be set correctly to 38400 so that is how you do it um, very straightforward. TerraTerm's great little program uh, comes in very useful for other things, and I hope you found this interesting and uh, and can now reconfigure your WLN10 when needed to. Thanks for listening. Bye bye.